Okay, so I'm going to do a, a video here of a comparison of an American Eco Diesel tuning company that claims 60 horsepower, stage two, uh, versus uh, factory settings. Um, now, <clears throat> this is not to call anyone out or to say anyone does a bad job. It's just to go over it and kind of explain a few little things to people. Um, and I'll go into depth later as we start to compare other companies tuning against each other. So, engine size. Now, I should tell you this that the people will try to claim that H2 Tuners does not have all the information, that there's other parts of the tuning that you're not seeing. There are other parts, but let me start by saying this, that there is nothing that really matters that doesn't show up on HP Tuners uh, besides a few small things that are going to have absolutely nothing to do with um, how your vehicle runs and how well the tuning is. So do not let any tuners make you believe that there's stuff, some secret sauce that is not in HP tuners that they have that you that you can't see. Okay, uh, this is um, their <clears throat> idle set point uh, based on ambient temperature and intake air temperature, um, and this is what it is from the factory. Okay, you can see that any place where it was blue they raised it in any place that was red they lowered it okay um kind of mediocre not really smooth transitions here at all honestly they should take it like this and do something similar to this you know what i mean it should be a it should be a map that uh you know maps should be a little bit more smoother per se uh than when you first get them now obviously you don't want to have a bunch of you know variation here so let's just go back this is what the map looks like from the start Okay, so it looks like from manufacturer, which also is not that amazing, but technically this map is a little bit better in my opinion. <clears throat> Reverse idle, not really sure why that this was changed there. Um, I'll just leave that one alone. Um, there's an idle cold out adder here. Why not uh, change this? You know, give it some more. Uh, based on ambient temperature, you know, negative 40, negative 28 C. Sorry, I was my radio. On these, I actually go in and change this. Most people out there are not going to hit negative 40 degrees. So why not hit negative 20? I'm sorry. Negative 20. It's not going to do it. Hold on. So why not hit negative 20 here? Okay. zero here and then make adjustments you know make this zero you know make this 15 make this 40 or something you know what i mean you know or go through and do this go from side to side you know do something like this bam linear okay obviously again not my tuning this doesn't matter does not concern me whatever um but this is where your built-in high idle is. Didn't touch the airflow. What you're going to notice here, and this is why this should be touched. See this zero and negative 187? Yeah, those aren't a thing. Uh, this needs to be calibrated properly. Um, this is how it comes stock, um, and it, it should be adjusted properly. A lot of vehicle stock will have crap like this in here, which is just them trying to prevent you from going and making too much power or going too high of RPM, things like that. Uh, it is not to save the motor by any means. No RPM limit changes to fuel RPM limit or injector cuts. <clears throat> Diesel fueling. A lot of people are changing these maps. These maps are converted torque volume into fuel mass, which is unit equals mass per stroke. The manufacturer built these tables. Changing these tables is a band-aid to something that you're not able to do in other areas. <laughs> All they did was raise it in this corner. They assumed that this is a wide open throttle area, so they raised it here. Not really that great of tuning by any means. Uh, this table they probably made identical, yep. Injector quantity to pulse width. See that right there? That is a wide open throttle area. But guess what? You don't always enter this area, okay? 
you don't always enter this area. There needs to be more changes than taking the top corner of the map and changing it. Again, this is not quality by any means uh, at all. Um, and to be honest, let's let's take a look here. Okay, let's select let's select just this right here. Okay. Now remember, this number here was sixteen fifteen. Okay. Take away five percent. Okay. Okay, so it's not five percent. Okay, let's take away six percent. Nope, still not six percent. Okay, let's let's change that to seven percent. Nope, almost eight percent. Almost. Oh, my bad, I went the wrong direction. Nope, nine percent is too much. Okay, so. Eight and a half percent. Look at that. Almost dead on to eight and a half percent. Okay. Look how close that is. These numbers here. Eight and a half percent fuel modulation. That's all they give you up top here. Eight percent. This is not a 60 horsepower tune at all. And I can guarantee you put this on the dyno, it is not making 60 horsepower. No pilot injection change. No pilot injection change. No pilot injection change. Not even post injection. Your EGTs will be significantly higher with post injection because of the added fuel sprayed into the combustion chamber after uh, combustion. That's what post injection is. It sprays after, it's used to generate heat to help with the regen. It is helped to prevent, er, sorry, it is helped used to burn off heat and other things like that. I'm sorry, the heat is used to help burn off crap that is inside the DAF or SCR, whatever, the DPF SCR, whatever. Um, for emissions purposes. Post injection should be changed, okay? Pilot injection should be changed. This is the reason why this fuel economy on this tune is not that great. It is because they didn't change any of this. Diesel timing, okay? These are the diesel timing maps that are used. Um, pretty, pretty, pretty much uh, what he's got selected here is pretty much it, okay? Um, now, Let's take a look here. Stock. This guy's timing. Let me let you in on a little secret here. Okay. Your engine makes peak torque in the 2000 RPM range. Okay. 2000 to 2500 for most of these engines is peak torque. Okay. This number is a before top dead center number. Okay, this is the amount of degrees before top dead center that it sprays fuel. Okay, one of the things is, the way these computers are set up, you cannot run more than 23 degrees of timing before top dead center. So a majority of this through here doesn't mean anything. You actually have to go into the computer and make changes for that. And I can tell you that I've not found a single computer where they have made those changes yet, okay? Now again, your fuel economy is heavily based on your diesel fuel timing as well okay your timing driving down the highway where you're going to get your good gas mileage you're looking at roughly an area right around here okay no changes made this is not efficient tune at all it's not even good tune again top corner and that's it let's pick another random table okay same thing they literally they literally just grab the same corner and look look at this watch it, it, it's literally they added like one two degrees of timing not even they like times it by like two percent okay and it, it's like this on all of them watch 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 bam there it is again okay it, it doesn't matter i don't need to go through all of these to show you that this specific company literally only makes changes to the top corner of the tune and for most of these, you'll never see it, okay? Um, let's see here. Driver demand. Here is the pedal, okay? This is where the pedal feel comes from, okay? This is it, right there. 
that's it. Well, you know, I'm going to add a little bit more power in the heavy section, and that's it. Okay, this is the changes made. Okay, this is unacceptable. Okay, and on top of that, these motors you should be shifting around 3500 or 3600. Get rid of all of these extra RPMs here. This is crap. You'll have way more control spreading the RPMs out and adjusting things properly. Look at that. Same crap. Same exact thing right there. Didn't make a difference. Same thing. None of this is going to help the pedal feel whatsoever. Okay. Turbocharger. High altitude boost set point has not been changed at all. Meaning those of you who are driving in higher altitudes, Colorado mountains, things like that, this is your boost table. Let's change. This is it. This is your boost table, okay? When you drive it on the highway, you are right around here, okay? Let's see, 12 to 20, okay? Let's take a look here. What did I say? Right around here, 17 to 23, okay? So there's obviously, there's obviously some change here, but look at this. Look, check this out. Added boost right here under normal driving and took boost away. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with this, what we're looking at here, this is a number of your atmospheric pressure plus boost, okay? Uh, me idling here right now in my pickup truck, I am having three pounds of vacuum, okay? Um, so you have atmospheric pressure, which will be roughly 14.7, depending where you are, okay? Uh, and then you have your boost. So if you take, let's say, 15 out of these, you're looking at only 23 PSI right there. These turbos are still good for more than that. Again, this is definitely not a 60 horsepower tune at all. This is, this is absolutely, completely um, unacceptable. Uh, like, I'm, honestly, I'm kind of upset that I haven't looked at this. Um, some wide open throttle changes there. I'm putting this to PSI for just, you know, the regular people for us to, you know, take a look here. Same thing, wind up throttle changes. Okay, boost control, mode zero normal. There's no reason for this, this zero crap down here, okay? They didn't understand that, they left it. Now look, they put a very low fuel quality, okay? Now what you're looking at here is this is their attempt at making the turbo break the engine, okay? When you slow down. Some of these numbers aren't that bad, um, but they're stock. Look right here. A little bit extra vein. A little bit extra vein. Actually, less vein, which actually hurts you for making boost. Um, and more here to help break it. But they don't change anything in this area at all. Anything. Let's pick another mode. Look at that. That's just, all right, cool. We'll just throw some numbers at that. Okay, same thing. Same exact thing. Okay. There's no there's no benefit to any of any of what you're just seeing right here, okay? Um, that's I mean that's that's pretty much it for the general part of the tuning. I mean that's that's it. You know, there's they didn't do anything. This is not a 60 horsepower tune. You put this on the dyno, God, it'll be lucky to make 40 horsepower. Lucky to make 40 horsepower. Might even make less. Okay. Engine diagnostics, obviously a bunch of codes are turned off, blah, 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 blah. No changes in here. Transmission. Nothing changed here. I don't have the, the transmission tune loaded for this, okay. Speedometer, 186. Fuel system. I'll look some changes to the fuel pressure. Okay. Um, added a little bit of fuel pressure again up top. Added fuel pressure up top. You, you just can't throw numbers at tuning, and this is this is what GDE and I'll, I will say GDE. This is what GDE accused me of doing was throwing a bunch of crap in the wide open throttle areas. And, and, and of their tuning and then selling it as my own. And this is definitely not something that I would ever do or recommend someone to do to their own vehicle. This is, this is, this is 
$50 tuning. That's what this is. This is worth $50. If someone's gonna come into my shop and pay me $50 to tune something, this is the crap that I would give them, okay? Absolutely, this is the crap that I would give them. Um, and I'm not even trying to be rude at this point. Like, I'm, I'm being dead set, or I'm being completely honest when it comes to this and, and why things are this way. Um, and it's, it's absolutely unacceptable. Um, you know, one other thing I'm going to show you guys here is that turbocharger, you don't need up the year, up here. You can get rid of these and have more control down low. Same thing with the boost itself. Get rid of all these extra RPMs, expand this out, and get more control over the boost. This is by far the only tune that I've gone over like completely to show someone something about. Um, and I absolutely, even as a tuner, and even if I didn't tune these trucks, I would not recommend this tune for absolutely anyone unless you are dead set on having, in your mind, 100% stock reliability and have a little kick up top. Because that is the only thing that this is going to do, is give you a little kick up top. Um, and it's, it's, it, it's unacceptable. This should be sold as a delete only tune. Like, hey, we deleted your truck, gave you a little kick, here you go. That's what this is.